Hi guys, Philip from Pink and Tassel here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my little trip to Chelsea Market this weekend and yes, I finally found my first mental clock. And I can't wait to share with you the whole restoration project. I have so many ideas, I really can't wait to start. I already took everything apart, I took out the mechanism, all the hinges and screws, so the wooden case is ready to be cleaned. And to clean it, I'm gonna use my Ryobi automatic sending machine together with some hand sending moments, so we'll see. The case is clean now, I'm gonna put a couple layers of primer and then we can start the fun part. I apply two layers of primer on a clock, it's completely dry and I can start the fun part. I made a little stencil that I'm gonna apply on top and a bottom and create some whimsical elements on a clock. I also gonna use a checkerboard pattern again because I really fall in love from the previous project and I can't wait to try it on the clock. You can painting ornaments more and more and more, but I think at some point you have to stop and proceed to the next step. I love how the pattern turned out. I think the clock looks so whimsical, so magical, like a fairy tale. But don't forget, we also have a tea set to go on top. But before that, we have to stain our clock to make it look more antique. So I'll see you in a second. We are all set and ready to begin. As usually, I'm using my mean wax in a color of dark walnut. Uh, just please keep in mind that the stain works differently with a different type of paint. Today, I have a matte acrylic, so probably I'll keep the stain on the surface from one to two minutes and then wipe it off. While the stain is drying, I'm gonna start working on my little porcelain tea set that I just got from a flying tiger. So what I'm going to do is to glue all the elements together with a super glue and then attach a little stick on the bottom of the each teacups. So later on, when I'll drill a little hose on top of the clock, I can place the teacups on top. The stain has dried, I already sealed it with a clear gloss spray. Everything is ready so we can start to assemble the clock. I'm gonna start assembly from drilling holes for my tea set. It's such a wonderful thing when you take an old clock, clean the mechanism, and in a matter of seconds, they start ticking. And the best part of it, they also ring. Come closer. Mm -hmm. 
Did you hear that? Such a beautiful sound, it changed the entire atmosphere in a room. In our digital world, we don't use the mechanical clocks anymore. I hope you enjoyed today's projects. If so, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave some comments below, and don't forget, there is always a tea time o'clock somewhere.